What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to draw a loose structure for NO2+, or it is called Nitronium Ion. So what we need to do right from the beginning, we need to find out the bonding capacity of each of these elements. Nitrogen has 5 valence electrons. And the bonding capacity is going to be 3. And oxygen is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And has 2 bonding capacity. So bonding capacity for nitrogen is 3. And bonding capacity for oxygen is 2. So since nitrogen has the larger bonding capacity, I'm going to use it as a central atom and oxygen atoms is going to be the surrounding atoms. So now what do we need to do? We need to, what I need to do, I need to put N in the middle and O on the other sides, the sides of this N. And then I need to count the total number of valence electrons available in an atom. So nitrogen is 5, oxygen we have 2 of them and each of them is 6, minus 1 because it says plus. So since it's plus and we are dealing with polyatomic ion, this one since it's plus we need to subtract 1. So 5 plus 2 times 6 is 12, so it's going to be 17, minus 1 is going to be 16. So we have 16 available valence electrons. So what we need to do, I need to put this bonding electrons and then I need to place pairs of the remaining valence electron as lone pairs so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 1, 2, 4, 5, 6 these four surrounding atoms so now we need to check how many electrons are still available so we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So number of available, 16 minus 16 is going to be 0. So there is no more valence electron available. So what you need to see here we check the octet rule. So oxygen has an octet because 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. But if you look at the nitrogen, we have 2 and 4. So that's not octet. In this case, since we don't have any remaining electron, we need to move lone pairs until all octets are complete. So it has 4. So I'm going to move 2 from here to here and 2 from here to here. So we have two double bonds. So then I'm going to have double bond or it's going to be like that. So that's going to be the final structure for nitronium ion i hope you enjoyed this video please leave me a comment if you have any question please don't forget to subscribe this channel you can have access to many other videos regarding chemistry physics and math you can also look at the playlist of loose structure and i provided many videos regarding drawing loose structure for different compounds thank you for watching and have a great day